good friend of mine, the next star of Fayetteville, coming at just one Fayetteville's like the most talented people. And he's not from here. He's from Ozark. Please get up for Mr. Charles Belt. recognize me. Uh, I'm Charles Bill. I'm the love child of Kevin Smith and the Hotels.com guy. <laughs> so, um, the phrase, you need to get your shit together, <laughs> means you need to straighten your life out. But I think it can also be taken literally. You know, the type of experience you have when you're taking a shit is very much connected to the decisions you've made over the past 24 hours. <laughs> you know, if you're a guy or a girl who takes a dump and then is out of the bathroom in less than five minutes, you're probably also holding down a job and are capable of a stable relationship with an overall good and productive member of society. If, however, you take several nasty shits a day, your whole life is falling apart. <laughs> you need to get your shit together. <laughs> uh, I was watching TV the other day, and I saw an evangelist on there who's traveling all over the country, and he has no arms or legs. And he used to be a bad guy, he says. Um, he was in a drunk driving accident. He lost both of his arms, he lost both of his legs, but he found Jesus. And he actually said, this is a quote, I would rather have the life I have now than 90 years with limbs. <laughs> now, I have my doubts about Christianity, but I'm pretty sure this windless motherfucker is full of shit. <laughs> In fact, I bet you a Yankee dollar, he would suck the devil's dick just to be able to do one more push-up. <laughs> yes, okay. So uh, Johnny Depp says, if you find yourself in love with two women, choose the second one, because if you're really in love with the first one, you wouldn't have fallen for the second. Good advice, sure. But I think also if you find yourself in love with three women, do the same thing. Now if you find yourself in love with four at the same time, you might just be an asshole who thinks love means I want to do her. <laughs> so uh, we had another school shooting today. Not something really to talk about at the comedy club. But. Uh, I was actually watching CNN and they were talking about a school shooting and they had to interrupt talking about a school shooting to talk about another school shooting. And I actually find myself agreeing with my Tuckabee. My Tuckabee said, in the 1950s, you didn't hear about school shootings. They also had prayer in school. And we don't have prayer in school now, and now we have school shootings. Coincidence? I don't know. You know, because I watched the black and white TV shows and they had better morals back then, you know? Also, speaking of black and white, uh, they kept them separate. They could have passed segregation. And we don't have that now. So maybe the country was better then and it's not so good now. <laughs> well, just for example, we at York Bowl will let white people and black people use the same bathroom. Okay? I actually was just in the bathroom earlier, standing at the urinal, and one of the other comics, Aunt Wade, came in there and used the urinal next to him. Now, in the 1950s, I wouldn't have had to stand next to him and compare penises. And that's something that would make you want to get a gun and go into a crowd and just go fucking crazy. So. No. Yes. Though maybe it's not God's fault. Um, I, uh, I worked with a guy who said that he was terrified at the thought that maybe God didn't exist and maybe the Bible was just bullshit. Like, that really terrified him. And he said, actually, if there is no God and the Bible isn't true, 
what's the keeping what's keeping us from just raping and killing everybody? And I got pretty close to his face and whispered in a whispered tone. I said, Well, I don't believe in God. What's keeping me from raping you right now? <laughs> I'm not a fucking maniac. That's what keeps me from raping. <laughs> in fact, if a 4,000 year old book is the only thing standing between you and going rape crazy at the farmer's market, then you might be the maniac. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That's my time. I love you. Thank you.